What's going on guys? Let's do a backyard this time. Something different, right? Enjoy. Alright guys, so let's talk about how much money can you make mowing grass? Now, this is a question that I get, I mean, more than 10 times in each video every day, right? And there are several factors, guys, that, that determines how much money you're going to make. Um, number one is you, you as an individual. What are your motivators? Um, are you a self-motivator? Are you a go-getter? Um, you know, are you a guy that, you know, honestly really want to get out there and get it done? You know, these are the things, uh, this is one thing that you have to keep in mind when it comes to how much money you want to make mowing lawns. Number two is your equipment. What are you using? You're using um, a push mower or are you using a zero turn? Are you, you know, utilizing your, your, your homeowner's equipment or are you using professional equipment? Now, believe it or not, guys, professional equipment makes the job easier. Now, a lot of people are going to tell you that you don't need professional equipment, and that is true. You don't necessarily need professional equipment, but guys, let me tell you, professional equipment helps a ton, okay? Keep in mind, been there, done that. I've had situations where when I first started, I had homeowner stuff from Home Depot and Lowe's, and guys, I was really out there busting my butt, and the moment I got professional equipment, it, I mean, I was going through grass, cutting grass like butter, and it made a difference, which makes your job much easier, right? It doesn't take a toll on your body, and you can um, get out there and do more lawns. Uh, another thing is that would determine how much money you're going to make is your route. Are you all over the place? You know, are you taking 10 uh, uh, to 30 minutes traveling from point A to point B? Keep it in mind, guys, windshield time, that's what we call it in the lawn care industry. Windshield time is that time that you're traveling from point A to point B. Where it is, if you have somebody working with you, you're paying them for nothing. You know, so you have to consolidate your properties and that's getting your properties as close as possible um, in order to make money. Because the reality is, if your equipment is not on, if your mower is not, uh, the engine is not running, if your edger is not uh, uh, working, then you're not making money, okay? Your equipment sitting on, 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 in the back of your truck isn't making you any money. And by the way, I'm cutting this uh, centipede grass down and I will make two passes because we want to take it all the way down so we can uh, begin the beautiful um, growing season. All right, so another factor that will determine how much money you're going to make mowing lawns is your targeted customer. Now, what I mean by that, who are you targeting as far as clients? Okay, that makes a lot of difference, guys. Believe it or not, you have to go to locations where people need your services. You have to go to places where your services is needed. How can you find places like this? Is look at your subdivisions, look at locations where other lawn care providers are working. Because the reality is only certain type of customers are the ones that have the additional cash to pay for your services. Now you may say, well, I am for the middleman, I'm not for the, you know, the effluent customer, but the reality is you're running a business and you're trying to make money. So target the customers that can afford to pay you. Target the customers that have an HOA. Yes, I don't like HOAs. I don't like dealing with HOAs. But those are the customers that you have to target because they have to have their lawns at a certain height and look in a certain way. So they need your services. Target locations where you have senior citizens um, that have the money to pay you. Okay? And again, 
remember guys you are a business those are the things that you need to be looking at or looking for in order to make money now it is a simple math guys the first thing you have to do is you have to find out how much does it cost you to be in business what I mean by that if you're paying for any equipment what are your monthly payments you have to subtract your gas you have to subtract your help if you have helpers or a helper their salary you have to subtract the mixed fuel right your edger your string trimmer your blower if you don't have any payments like that then that's fine you know you have minimum business expenses so these are things that you have to subtract from your daily amount of money that you're making now it's easy as this if you're mowing let's say just a, throw some a number out there to make it easier 10 lawns 10 properties right and you're charging 30 bucks so you're looking at 10 properties 30 bucks per property that's three hundred dollars that you're making for that day for that period of time that you're actually mowing right because it takes a while for you to get a full day now if you're only mowing 10 properties um, and that's that's taking you the whole day then you need to look at where are these properties located maybe you're you're out there too far out so you need to bring your properties in right and how do you do that by marketing you have to market anytime you mow a property you market five properties uh, around that one property right put out your flyers put out your cars whatever the case may be let's say you're mowing 10 properties right for a day and you're charging $40 per mow then you're making $400 right simple math and again th this is your gross income okay this is minor minus um you're not deducting your expenses yet and in the same same deal goes to if you're mowing 10 properties at $50 per mow then you're looking at $500 make sense too easy guys it all depends on you as an individual it all depends on the type of equipment you have it all depends on the route that you have it all depends on your target demographic customer guys leave your comments in the comment section and of course there are a lot more other things that go into how much you can make per day right and again every area will determine how much money you can make now this is one thing that I will tell you because I always see this guys and I don't understand why I see guys that are mowing 10 or 12 properties a day right and I'm talking about regular uh, quarter of an uh, acre property properties and they have a helper or they have two helpers it makes no sense to me anyway unless you have a health issue but guys I go out there on an average I'm mowing 12 to 13 properties and I start at 7.30 in the morning and I'm home by 2, 2.30. The latest is 3. Why? Because my properties are in one specific area. And how did I achieve that? Simple. By marketing. Marketing, marketing. Put out your flyers, put out your flyers, put out your flyers. Okay? There's no magic pill. There's no course. It is simple as that.